Hey, welcome back to Baird Squid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can customize your Google Classroom banner using a real life GIF. So grab yourself a camera and a plain background. I've got myself here um, a camera on a tripod. You can use a cell phone. If you just follow me down here, you can see that this is on a tripod. You can get yourself uh, a friend to hold out your camera straight, but make sure that they don't move while they're doing it, okay? So I've got my camera set up here. I'm just gonna turn this on, and you can see that in this frame, it's just gonna be pointing towards that plain wall. Now there's a couple of things that I need to set up because I need to move this frame and maybe this plant down here just so that I've got a perfectly back, um, clean background. Now I've deliberately worn a darker shade because it contrasts with my background uh, and it makes me pop. So bear that in mind. If you're gonna wear a light color, make sure you've got back, black background. If you're wearing a dark color, then make sure you've got yourself a lighter, brighter background, okay? Like this white background. So let me just set this up by moving a couple of things just move the plant put out of the way and I can also just grab took a bit of persuading but I finally got it off okay so now that I've cleared out my background what I'm going to do is I'm going to start recording on the camera um, make a fool of yourself you know feel comfortable with uh, what you're doing and just make the kids feel comfortable that's the whole point yeah we're going to create this animated gif just to make the kids feel comfortable so I'm going to go ahead and start pressing record on this Okay, let me just check that's recording. Yeah, that's recording. I've got pretty much a white background now, so I'm good with that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, um, I'm, I'm in frame and you can see me, I'm waving in frame. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some interesting sort of uh, animations, okay, that are gonna keep the kids engaged. So I might come from the side and maybe do the, the stair walk, okay, and a, a few more things, okay? So just bear with me now. Now I don't know, how that went okay uh, I'm just trying to make it let's see if that was any good so let's just stop the recording we can play it back okay remember you can do this with a cell phone uh, you can do it with uh, your camera get a buddy to hold it for you I think I'm gonna go with a simple wave so let's go ahead and go back to this we'll do one more take okay just so that we've got a few options on our hands remember when you're holding this this the cell phone or you got a buddy to hold it for you or you got yourself a tripod however you find it um, fun at the end of the day it's fun isn't it and Make a fool of yourself. It doesn't really matter, yeah? Your kids will thank you for it. They will feel um, to be, you know, they will, they will feel comfortable, they'll feel settled, and they will feel as if they can take risk and be in an environment where no one's gonna judge them. That's the whole point of this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer those videos to the iPad and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put this together now to create um, sort of an animated GIF so we can put customize our Google banner. So let's go ahead and do that, yeah? Now that I've uh, transferred the file from my camera to my USB hub, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Files app here and I'm gonna go find that um, drive. Okay, it should be under, obviously here it's under the um, Canon DC, so, and under here, I'm gonna grab the file, so I'm gonna shift and select it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and share it. And I'm gonna share it under um, save as video, okay? Now that sh saving under video is gonna take about 30 seconds to save under videos. So what we'll do is we'll jump onto Keynotes. So go ahead and find your Keynote application. Keynote, remember it's free, yeah? It's free to use Keynote. So we're gonna go ahead and open up and make a blank uh, slide here. And then we're gonna import the video here. So let's just go and see, has the video saved into our drive? Here it is, it's 49 seconds and let's edit and trim this, okay? So let's trim this to where we actually want it. So, oh, here we go. So, okay, that there, and yeah, let's keep it to that. And let's go ahead and select that. So what I've done is I've just trimmed it, okay? And I'm gonna save the video as a new clip. So that should be saved as a new clip now. Let's go and see if that's the case. Here we go, 23 seconds, brilliant. So, now go to Keynote. Uh, go ahead and press on the add button and go to videos and photo and go to the actual video that we've just made, okay? So we trimmed it down to uh, 23 seconds, here we go. And what we're gonna do now, since we've uh, imported it here, we're gonna go and export, okay? And we're gonna export it as an animated GIF. So go ahead here, export it. You can do it in large as well, as long as it doesn't give you this red um, notification where it's too large, we can go ahead and export it into a large format, extra large format. So that's gonna take maybe a few seconds to export and that we're gonna save it, wait for that to get done. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll save this, share, save as image. So that's it, we're done with that. Go to Safari and type in, just type in Google 
and then from this little waffle here this uh, app uh, grid go to your classroom so here i am i'm going to go to my classroom and i'm going to choose the class that i want to add that banner to so let's just go ahead and choose this class here and it says it select theme upload picture so let's go ahead and upload picture and we're going to go ahead and upload it from our library okay so it was it was this one here let's use it once it uploads then you can crop uh, the size of it okay as you like so it's done it's uploaded now we can crop here okay as much as we uh, like here we make it as, as big as we can and maybe I think there so let's go ahead and select that as a class theme now because that was an image it's going to upload it as an animated gif here and it says it's changing so it's uploading let's see how that looks okay let's go ahead and refresh this uh, and see what that looks like so we've got a banner here now can you see that that's awesome look at that that is better than I thought it would turn out to be. Look at that. Oh my God, that's amazing. So if you enjoy that, make sure you give me a thumbs up and make sure you give it a go. Try it out, share it with your colleagues, get them to create their animated GIFs and man, our, our students are going to enjoy that. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? You know what? It creates a nice atmosphere where students would want to take risks. If you set the bar at that level, students are going to say, hey, you know what? He's a fun, she's a fun girl. Let's go and join in with that fun and take a bit of risk and feel comfortable and settled in our classrooms. So don't forget, if you're interested in simplifying educational tech, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.